In our final video, I want us to cover how to handle exceptions in Racket. We've seen exceptions when we saw throwing errors. We, in some of our evaluation functions, we have a else raise an error. It's just calling function error, which will throw an exception. And we also saw the throwing of an exception when we do a division by zero. So how do we handle such an error? Well, we can do that by using the with handlers construct. So what the with handlers is kind of like the try catch in Java or try accept in Python. So what you give first is the conditions in which you want to handle the error. So then in the, the second parameter. So first parameter is going to be um, catch section of your try catch. What you write inside the second parameter is going to be the try. So kind of reversed as you would do in, in Java and in Python. You try to do something and then you catch exception. Here you write the, the catch part first and then you run the try part. Let's let me actually change to the editor. Let's see what I do. I'm gonna write here catch exception to make it clear. Try to run this code. If we try to run this code, and this this code raises an exception, what the with handler is gonna do is it's gonna get that exception, it's gonna compare it by calling the first parameter I set here. I'm going to give pairs of two things. On the left hand side I'm going to give a function. It's just checking if it returns true then it will call the function on the right hand side. Right? And what is the function on the right hand side? Yes, it's exactly what you were expecting. It's your exception handler which in input going to be the parameter is going to be the error that you're handling you can even do display the error print it out does as you can see an exception is really just a struct a division by zero exception is really just a struct so what this thing is doing this function is just the function that is defined for every struct like when we did a number right we have the struct number and then we have value we have our call a number we know that that in turn defines an r call a number question so how do we know if something is a number we call our number and this is the first parameter of the try part, the catch part, right? Where we say, how do we know if that exception should be handled by my error handler? On the left-hand side, you're going to write, is it me who's going to handle that? And if that returns true, then it will call the right-hand side part of your code, which is on, on error do this. But the do this is actually return this. So, in this case, if I return false, my whole exception returns false. But if I return instead, see the result being foo. Okay? I can even further do anything else, including being another division by zero. Here I get another. That's basically it. Then what you need to know is how do I know how to catch an exception? Well, you have to find what is the equivalent of this by looking up in the manual. Then whatever you want to do on, on error is what you are free to write whatever code you have here. So you can string and D and that. Right. 
You can do whatever you want and learn. The result of the whole expression is going to be what if there is an exception. If there isn't, in this case, then it just returns 1, 1 as you would expect. Right? It's 1 divided by 1, you just get the number 1. There are no exceptions, so this thing was not called. Similarly, if I just throw an exception called error, this function was actually not called, was not, is not going to be matched by division by zero exception, therefore you still get the error trace. If I want to handle that, well, one way, I think and create another handler, every error, x, for every error, just return true, we're going to handle all errors, what do you do? Parenthesis two so one division by zero this R can even call. So if I get a division by zero, I should call the hand one div by zero. Otherwise I want to now what I get is bar because that is the second hand and not the first. I do one divided by zero, I get ASD. I don't get any error. And no error being raised, and therefore the whole thing just returns without catching. The That's basically it. It's very simple. That's how you handle exceptions.